there. So today is what? October 10th, 2024. And I don't, oh, I literally just got back from going to UPS. Okay. Because I was supposed to get a job. I thought I was going in for like fingerprints and like the badge and stuff. And they're like, oh no, they do everything backwards. They're like, oh yeah, we have to do your background check. And we do two background checks and it can take up to like three weeks. And I'm like, but I thought I was starting on Monday. Oh no, don't listen to that. Okay, so I don't have a job? Cool. I thought for the last week that I had a job. I do not have a job. I have another interview. That's what that was. So anyways, my interview with UPS and I'm not holding my breath. Anyways, that's the new thing that happened. Uh, their hiring process is half ass backwards because how are you going to not interview me, give me a start date, and then have me come in to do fingerprints and background check and everything and then tell me it's going to be another three weeks when I was already told I was going to be starting on the 14th. I'm not waiting around. This is a first come first serve job thing because I have bills to pay. Okay. I don't know who's doing the hiring and all this stuff. And I know there's a lot of jobs out there that are just on some ish. I don't know what kind of ish, but I'm not for it. Um, I just want to pay my bills. Okay. Waiting another freaking month is not going to help me pay my bills. Okay. Especially when I'm like, oh, I'm going to stop filling out applications because I have a job. No. I'm never going to stop filling out applications now because these jobs are on straight garbage. But anyways, um, there's that. I, I don't really know how I feel about that. And it's just been, 2024 has not been a good year for jobs. Just saying, just saying, easy come, easy go. <laughs> there's that song. Um, I want you to remember the thing that I always said the most, and I'm going to say this until I die. Speak it into existence. If you want it to happen, speak it. Don't speak the things that you don't want to happen though. When I mean speak it into existence, be like, I am going to, or everything is going great. My life is going well. I am happy, I'm healthy. Just speak it into existence. The more you speak it, the more it's going to come true. The more your mind will believe it. Even if you don't believe it when you first start saying it, your mind will believe it. I promise you. The whole time that I went to school, what did I always say? My number one priority was school. You guys watched me. You guys watched me go to school. Okay. You guys watched me graduate. And it's because I made it a priority. I spoke it into existence. I told everybody I met what my priority was and my priority was school now uh, my priority is my other youtube channel and i'm really gonna put a lot of work into it and i'm really gonna start stepping up my game because i'm tired of playing games with these jobs out here that don't want people that actually want to work they want people that don't work so they can complain about it i don't know what's wrong with this world but anyways um speak it into existence if you don't want it to happen don't say it it's easy as that don't sit there and ever put yourself down don't ever ever speak that into existence because you're better than that you're better than that let's do our daily motivational quote and we'll call it a day now that we had this very motivational life learning vlog if someone wants to be with you <laughs> nothing will stop them from doing so love doesn't create excuses and there's not, it's not by anybody, but I like that they added my name in there. That was adorable. And this is a thousand percent true. Just think about the difference in me. And it's because when you pour in love and stuff into somebody else and they, they pour it back into you, it's reciprocating. Okay. It makes you happy because you don't have to sit here and try to do all this extra stuff to make a relationship work with somebody that doesn't want you. Just remember, the one that wants you, nothing will stop them. Me and Nate, known him for 22 years. I met him when he was a minor <laughs> and I was 19. So don't ever think that 
something good won't happen. You just have to give it time. You have to really want it and you have to give it time. Everything needs time. You need time to heal. You need time to grow. You need time for everything. The only thing we don't have is a lot of time. So don't sit here and play around with people. Don't play games. All right. I hope you have a good day. And I'll see you in the next one.